I don't have nose hairs after this matchup. They're gone. They're all gone. They've been singed into oblivion. These are both very delicious. They started smelling very similar. They're not at all. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. And we are back with another double blind head to head where we draw these samples at random, this matchup at random from yes. our double blind sample pool of head to head matchups. We put these in here because they're fun. Yeah. Truthfully speaking, sometimes it's available versus allocated. Sometimes it's expensive versus inexpensive. Sometimes it's a product that's no longer made anymore versus a product that's sitting on shelves. We do it this way because we want you guys to see how these products compare to each other without any labels or hype or bias or anything like that. It's always a ton of fun. It's always very insightful. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's insightful and entertaining for you. I will say these two both look very dark. They do. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the nose on glass one. This smells like a log cabin and maple syrup. It smells like all that with some banana cherry. All that or a cherry, bag of chips. Or cherry banana. We've had this conversation ongoing for weeks now. I'm right. It is sharp alcohol though. There's a lot yeah. of alcohol on this. Correct. But it also smells dark. Like there's yeah. alcohol and darkness. Yeah, there's this glass yeah. is emo. 100% <laughs> emo glass. Yeah. The darkness I'm getting is like a brown sugar darkness. Yes. It's, it's a lot of brown sugar maple darkness. Sh maple under, sugar yeah. ma or maple syrup. Maple syrup, brown sugar underneath the cherry and the banana. I'm not getting cherry and banana. I'm getting maple syrup, brown sugar, oh, and the, emo vibes. And the ethanol. It's almost making my eyes water, to be honest with you. I, I just went a little too deep to begin with. Let's go ahead and get it on the palate. That's what she said. My gosh, I feel like this is this is in your wheelhouse. Oh, wow. This that is, is packing a punch. I'm going to need another first sip, a second first sip, but this is dark. Mm -hmm. Like it, everything I got on the nose translates on the palate, which I appreciate, to be honest. Yeah. I If you smell like what you are, then I appreciate you. Yeah. I'm never trying to be right. I'm never trying to think about what's in the glass, but I do try to convey that if it jumps out to me because I want you to know that if you're looking for specific products and you can't find them, this might be a good alternative to the products that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. This to me reminds me of something like a 1792 Foolproof yeah. or an Old Forester Barrel Strength Bourbon or a Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. They're all kind of in the same wheelhouse of flavor and because of the single barrelness of each of those products, they can all vary and be very confusing as to what they are. Yeah. This is p -p 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 powerful. This is powerful. This is dark. This is, um, I think it's higher proof. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't feel high proof on my palate. Oh, it does. I don't think so. Like, I think it is. It's not super sharp. It's not sharp. It's and it's saturated not saturated with not, flavor. It's not sharp. It's not effervescent. It's heavy and viscous and saturated with the flavor, which is what makes me think it's high proof. But dare mm. I say it's smooth? Like, I say smooth in a way that I think other people do not. I think smooth is no sharp edges. Right. Because this is dictionary not, definition yeah. of smooth is like no sharp edges. It yeah. is a smooth surface. And that's what this is, even though I think it's high proof. It's very high proof. It is very rounded and balanced. That that darkness that comes from the brown sugar and the maple syrup brings mm -hmm. such a balance to the bright mm -hmm. banana cherry sweetness that you're getting. I'm not getting banana, by the way. Man, well, you never get banana. I know. Like, you, I, I say banana all the time. You don't get it. We've even had this conversation early in the channel history where you had banana uh, Laffy Taffy. Yep. And that was the only way you could get it to correlate it. Yes. One to one. Barry Hawk sent us a big, huge tub of banana Laffy Taffies and I would have to eat one of them, remember what it tasted like and then taste the whiskey and then I could get it. Yeah. This glass to me is like if you had, you know, the, what do they call it? Like the, when you're doing art and it's the fruit on the table, mm -hmm. still life. Mm -hmm. It's like you took a picture of a banana and a cherry. Oh, interesting. A bowl of cherries okay. and a bundle of bananas. Okay. And then you took the saturation level in your photo editing software and you just cranked it up to a hundred. It's so, okay. and there's a bag of brown sugar in the background too. 
That's glass one. And you need some maple syrup in there. Yeah. And there's like a, a thing of log cabin sitting on the sidelines over there in the back. You can kind of see it, but it's out of focus. You don't really know what it is. You're still on glass one. I'm ready to get into glass oh, two I'm to see ready. how it compares. I'm ready. All right. Glass two on the nose. Oh, hang on a minute. Honestly, this smells a lot like last one. Yeah, but the banana cherry's not there, and this is coming through with some like musty oak, but in a good way. When I say musty, you think basement, and this isn't basement. This must. is like old library this is books. Attic must or an old library. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. I want to try. I I I can't wait till we try these off camera, and I can like kind of a b compare yeah. because these smell similar to me. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. I could even get a little bit of like bacon fat on this I like that savoriness i need you to smell these back to back right now tell me if they don't smell almost identical no glass one's far more fruity if you like fruity bourbon glass these seem like bourbon glass one fruity fruit forward bourbon glass two a little bit darker mustier honestly dustier I think, maybe okay. a little bit more nutty like a, there's like a peanut dust in my non-professional opinion good. They smell very similar, but glass two smells more ethanol forward. I think they're both ethanol -y. I think glass two has a little bit more of like a peanutty type of dust on it. Let's get into the palette. Okay. Oh man, you ruined me with a peanutty dust because now I taste like peanut. That is there, but there's also so much caramel, vanilla, oak. Okay. Man, glass two is so good. I need a minute with this because wow. I need a minute. Yeah. Wow. Glass two is very good as well. This is reminding me of a Reese's peanut butter cup. That's the vision I have in my head right now. Milk chocolate, peanut butter, and you're eating that, you're eating the Reese's peanut butter cup in a barn. So you smell the wood around you. I'm not getting chocolate. Oh man, this is good. I'm getting peanut butter. This feels very high proof. Um, it kind of burns, mm -hmm. <laughs> but like in a good way, like it hurts so good. Wow. I, I'm going to need some time alone with these, with Man, these guys. Glass two sets in heavy on the palate. Yeah. Heavy. This is going to be a very interesting comparison. Once we spend some time with them, as Aaron already alluded to, we're going to do that. Now we will be back with our full thoughts on both of these, how they compare, which we prefer. We'll give some rankings, see how the price changes those, and then find out what we're drinking. Be right back. All right. This is a very interesting matchup head to head. Yes. You think they taste the same. Yes. I do think there's a through line. Oh my gosh. But they are distinctly different to me. So before we get to me, where are you at okay. on these two? So I do think they taste so similar with the caveat of glass two being slightly darker. I do agree with that. I so with that, like, yeah. it's like they, they're almost identical. They're fraternal twins, not identical twins. Oh, that's a, actually a really good. That is parallel. my yeah. takeaway. So I do have a preference because I do like the darker flavor of glass two. However, that being said, they both get a thumbs up because they're both very good. Yeah. Um, glass two is slightly darker, but glass one is also delicious. So thumbs up for me on both of them. You know, I think I'm in the same place with thumbs up on both glasses. Mm -hmm. Personally speaking, I will say glass one is much more fruity sweet. It's okay. got that cherry, banana, vanilla note in it. Whereas glass two has a little bit more of the banana brown sugar, kind of a banana, like banana bread, like a banana walnut bread in glass two gotcha. versus the banana split brightness of glass one. Interesting. Okay. So... Okay. Between the two glasses, they are, there's a through line. That's yeah. what I meant. There's a through line, but they're similar. They're distinctly different in Maybe. what you prefer. Maybe. Do you prefer the brighter flavors of glass one or do you prefer the darker flavors of glass two? We like it dark, so we both gravitate towards glass two. We do. Even though they're both thumbs up. They are thumbs up. We both have a preference towards glass two. So are you giving them both a thumbs up? Yeah. thumbs. I said that. Yeah. I, I don't know if you did. I did. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I will say that these both, while I think they are higher proof. Oh, they're high proof. They're real they're high, high proof. proof. They drink very well rounded. They drink every bit of like 105 proof as far as like. 105? No, 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 no. 
I think they're higher than 105. Okay. But they drink like 105 because they're very well-rounded. Rounded, yeah. They're very balanced. They don't have any sharp edges that are offensive. I but think, I, but think I think they are very much higher proof than 105. I think they drink like 128. Mm. 125, 128. Let's mm. find out the price first, see if that changes our ratings. Okay. We're both thumbs up on both glasses. Okay. We both yep. really like both of these pours. Yep. We both prefer glass two. So glass number one, we're gonna find out price first, see if that changes our ratings. Glass number one is number 18. Okay. And glass number two is number 17. All right, number 18. So glass number 18's price is? $65. That math I'm not checks mad at out. that. That math checks out. That's about what you should pay. I'm not mad. Wait, where are you touching glass two? That's glass one. No, glass 18. two. 18 is glass one. Oh, $65. Okay, what's glass number two? Oh, $70. That that math checks out. Yeah. Oh, Every wow. So 65, 70. I'm not mad at either of these, to be honest, for that look, price. Look, guys, when the first glass is the higher number, Aaron laments that. It confuses no me. End. I'm not yes. gonna I'm not gonna lie. It confuses yeah. me. So glass number one, number 18 in our pool. Are you staying thumbs up at $65? To be honest, yes. I well I am too. I, it wasn't my favorite out of the two. It is worth $65. Fair, fair price for sure. Yes. Glass number two in our pool, $70. Are yes. you staying thumbs up? I am. I am as well. And if I had to pick between these two, if you're at the liquor store, you're going to have to buy one of these or the other by glass two. If you like a darker flavor profile, if you like a fruitier flavor profile, pick glass one. Yep. There you go. Different palettes are yeah. different. But I'm not yeah. mad at the price for either of them, to yeah. be honest. No, I'm, I'm very happy with this matchup. They're both great pours. I'd be happy to own a bottle of either one. Let's find out what glass number one is. Number 18 in our sample pool is... Oh my gosh. 17.92 full proof? No. Old Forester Barrel Shrink? No. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof? Jack Daniels Barrel Proof? Yeah. 131 Proof. That checks out. Holy it... majoli. Like what the heck? Wow. Okay, that checks out. What's glass number two, number 17? You want to take a guess? Old Forester Barrel Shrink? ECBP? Legend Craig Barrel Proof? Because it's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. That's why I picked it. It's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. No, you're wrong. What is it? It's Jack Daniels Koi Hill. Oh. It is. Hold on. <laughs> 139.1 proof. All right. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on a minute. This all credit goes to Bill Cavanaugh for oh, this. Oh, man. For Bill. Billiam. You. <laughs> I can't even. You sly dog you. You. For masterminding this head to head. Yep. Because he has a Koi Hill that is under 140 proof. There are a few Koi Hills out there floating around that are non hazmat. And, and that is one of them. That's one of them. And Bill has it. He gave us this sample to put up against our 131 proof Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. And we picked it. We wow. Picked the, okay. We picked the Koi Hill. We did pick the Koi Hill. And it was pretty easy for me to decide this because it was darker. And. I, I do want to say that we have now had this channel for almost two years now. So we have been acclimated to whiskey. So if you're new to whiskey, Koi Hill in general is very hot. And even me as someone who is not like a whiskey nerd like Josh is, I'm not a proof hound. I'm not a whiskey nerd. Like I honestly, I drink because it's fun. I get to hang out with my husband. I get to hang out with you guys. I love Koi Hill, but I've been doing this channel for two years. If we had had Koi Hill two years ago when we first started this channel, it would have blown my face off. So I just want to let that be known. Wow. This was super interesting. I just took a sip of both of them knowing what they are. Everything stands. Yeah. I'm trying to catch my breath because they're both very high proof. They have a lot of oomph to them. Yeah. This is super fascinating. We both prefer Koi Hill. Correct. But As Jack Daniels Barrel Proof held its own. It, honestly, they, Jack Daniels has been doing really good things with their non-like regular stuff. Uh, to, be, to be honest, we are in Nashville, Tennessee. We have a lot of Jack Daniels bias 
We go to Nashville Sounds games. We, we do. drink Jack and Cokes. We, we do, but I have to say also, because we are in Nashville, Jack Daniels, the regular stuff, like Jack Daniels. Old number seven. Old number Jones seven Jack, or yeah. the Jack Daniels honey, all that yeah. stuff kind of gets like a bad rap because that's like what you drink when you're in college. Yeah. Anything that's not that, fantastic. Yeah. Don't discount Jack Daniels. They're doing fantastic work. Yeah. The rye is amazing. The barrel proof rye. Agreed. Even their regular 94 proof single barrel Tennessee whiskeys. I almost called it bourbon. It is bourbon. Don't come at me in the comments. Their master distiller said it's bourbon. It's a marketing ploy. But okay. even the 94 proof rye is very good as well. So these are both fantastic. If you like fruit forward, just go ahead and buy a Jack Daniels single barrel barrel yeah. proof. The gold label, if you see it. But the Koi Hill is operating on another level. Oh my gosh. We both said that these were like the saturation of a photo turned up yes. to 100%. Yes, as former and, photographers, yeah. we are like, this is like a photo with the saturation level like on Lightroom turned like all the way up. Yeah, and that's Koi Hill for you. Yeah. But they're both like that they're in both, their own respects. They're both good. Yeah, this is an interesting point of note. I can absolutely see people preferring the regular Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof to the Koi Hill because the Koi Hill is so dark and so saturated and so proofy mm -hmm. that people may prefer the regular single yeah. barrel barrel proof, even though we both preferred the Agreed. quail tonight. I agree. I think in general, as a like a overarching palette pleaser, yeah. the regular Jack Daniels probably would win up. We are 100%. weird. We're like outliers. A well, we, bit. we've been sipping a bunch of high proof stuff and yeah. we're desensitized. So yeah. we prefer the darker, heavier profile of Quay Hill. But this was a ton of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it as well. Do some blind tastings of your own. Yes. If you like this content, like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We do it every week and go ahead and hit that bell. That's going to help you out on our live streams. We would love for you to join us for a pour once a month when we do our monthly live streams. Absolutely. And I think that's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.